protomorphic energy repositories were designed to siphon and redistribute kinetic energy from the comet shards. However, the redistribution process is extremely unstable and should only be attempted by a licensed technician. Hard thinking! I'll try powering up that shard using the energy repository! Stand by for energy dispersal. Sample has reached maximum energy threshold. Nice work! If you can keep that shard energized, you should be able to use it to power up one of Croyd's Guardians. Then it's smooth sailing to the Hall of Paradoxology. <laughs> That shard is losing power! Look for some smaller fragments! They may have some juice left in them! You heard him, guys. Throw in as many fragments as you can. Good work, guys. Get those fragments into the carrier. It's working! Grab more fragments! We got ammo here! Energy level at 75%. Energy level at 50%. Help me get this thing open. Hop in! Taking the tour to the Hall of Paradoxology. You got something against wonderment. Welcome to the Frumpus Croyd Exploratorium of Scientific Wonderment. I am Dr. Frumpus Croyd. And I'm Dr. Nemo Beetlemeyer. And you are about to embark on an exciting odyssey through the world of science. Great. Next stop, Nerd Heaven. <laughs> The first stop on our tour of discovery is the Rosa Fields Mining Outpost. The Hidney Belt, we from the Ponder. Uh, yes, you're right. Eons ago, a class D comet struck our planet with incredible force. The resulting fragments wound up in this very location. Dr. Croyd and I immediately implemented numerous devices in order to collect and catalog these samples for science. Great! A weapon that makes more squishies. Took you long enough! Protomorphic energy repositories were designed to siphon and redistribute kinetic energy from the comet shards. However, the redistribution process is extremely unstable and should only be attempted by a licensed technician. You 
Just don't quit! That was a close one! 